Brooke Boone with Holy Yoga. All right, so check this out. Seriously, um, I have this really cool little Mac computer, and um, my bestie got me this cover for my Mac. But um, brilliant as I am, I put it on upside down. So now when I'm working, this is what you get to see, an upside down Holy Yoga. It should be like this when I open my computer, but that's how brilliant I am. I'm very technologically and aesthetically savvy, clearly. So pardon the upside down Holy Yoga, but you get my drift, right? Um, Romans 12, one through three today. If you don't know Romans 12, one through three, if it's not etched and seared into your brain, I would have to think that you haven't been a Christian for more than six months. <laughs> because this is like the crux verse, right? You wanna know what it looks like to be in Christ, Romans 12, one through three. So I'm gonna read it to you in the message version because I love the poetic flavor of this scripture. So let me read it to you, I'm gonna hold this up so you can laugh at my nonsense. It says this, Romans 12, one through three in the message. So here's what I want you to do, God helping you. Take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing that you can do for him. Let me say that to you again. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing that you can do for him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and then quickly respond to it. Readily recognize what God wants from you and then do it. That's what God's saying. And then do it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you and develops well-formed maturity in you. Notice, notice how your moralistic or righteous living, your, your quest for purity or righteousness is not what gets you there. It's God alone who teaches you who you are and develops this character in you as you give him your everyday, ordinary, sim simply seemingly insignificant life. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the power of God. He picks up in three, I'm speaking to you from a deep gratitude for all that God has given to me and especially as I have responsibilities in relation to you. Living then as one, as every one of you does in pure grace, it's important that you do, do not misinterpret yourselves as people who are bringing this goodness to God. Amen? You're not doing anything for God. God and his godness is always God. This is a get to for you and for me. We get to participate in what God is doing. In the holiness that he's creating in our lives, we get to participate in that. It says, no, God brings it all to you. The only accurate way to understand ourselves is by what God is and by what he does for us, not by what we are and what we do for him. Isn't that great? Isn't that great news? Where else, in what other relationship is it fully dependent on the other person where it's completely okay to be dependent? I love that about God. God says, bring me everything. All of your, like your life, your smallness for my bigness. That's a great trade. That's a great investment of time. That's a great extension of grace. I hope that blesses you today. I hope you have a great day. Visit us online, uh, www.holyyoga.net. Connect to a class. Come to a Jesus at the Core event. There are so many things available for you to connect with us, and we would love for you to be a part of our community. So I hope you're having a great day, and we'll catch you soon.